Strong's U.S. farmland bill fighting Chinese Communist Party included an anti-China bill. U.S. Representative Dale Strong on Monday announced his bill, the Protecting America's Agricultural Land from Foreign Harm Act, has been included in the Republican Study Committee's Countering Communist China Act. As capitalism decays, it sure lashes out, doesn't it? China and communism are both good, actually. This legislation would prohibit the purchase or lease of U.S. agricultural land by individuals associated with the governments of China and other foreign adversaries. Strong said, the Chinese Communist Party is one of the greatest national security threats facing the American people. From the Chinese production of fentanyl coming across our southern border to Chinese companies undermining U.S. trade. The Countering Communist China Act rewrites American laws to better deal with this threat. Mm. With the inclusion of my bill, this legislation will prohibit individuals associated with the governments of our foreign adversaries, including China, Iran, North Korea, and Russia, from purchasing or leasing American agricultural land, protecting our food, fiber, and fuel supply chains, he added. Now, if only we could protect these industries from American businesses. <laughs> Forget about China. Regulation and enforcement, please. Embarrassingly, fighting China has been one of the few items of Congress that has been a bipartisan effort. Strong's bill being included in the Countering Communist China Act will allow it to move through co Congress quicker and become law. And I'm going to... I'm going to include a link to this article. You can go and check it out and read it, but you can click on this here. This is a one page review of the Countering Communist China Act. You can read it there, which includes such ridiculousness as we must protect Taiwan's sovereignty, which is under direct threat by Xi Jinping. We must also foster democracy in China and rid the world of the evil influence of the Chinese Communist Party.